Globally, this emerged at a tourism network function being held at the South African High Commission in Lesotho. Both countries believe that uh, combining efforts and synergies can make a huge difference. In 2017, Lesotho reported above a million visitors. Nearly 90% of them came directly from South Africa. Statistics also indicate that Maseru Bridge is the second busiest port of entry into South Africa. South Africa constitutes actually 90% or slightly over 90% of all arrivals into Lesotho, which is why a forum such as this one becomes ever so critical. Local tourism is boosted largely by the word of mouth, current social platforms and most recently the role of videos in promoting exclusive locations. You know, sometimes we, we have in the Northern Cape a lot of um, movies that come to be shot and they go like, oh no, this is in the Middle East or wherever. But what we try and do after the movie is out, we actually go like, no, it was not the Middle East, it's actually the Northern Cape. So the support that the, the, the government and us as well, that we give to the local um, industries, actually Really makes us to be somewhat successful. But the experience and support is only as good as the local tour operators. We really are passionate about promoting Lesotho as a tourism destination, not only that, but by bringing tourists into Lesotho, looking after them, helping with their itineraries and their movement and packages. You can have the best institution, you can have the best adventure company in the country, but if you don't know how to market that, that's most probably the number one problem. I'm surprised that the animals are allowed to have a free movement. So we are saying, as uh, the organizers of Shosho Walk again, we need that free movement even to the people of South Africa and Lesotho. The Lesotho High Commission agrees that more needs to be done to align services at ports of entries in order to expedite the movement of people and goods. Your objective is to promote tourism and get as many people into South Africa or get as many people into Lesotho. If they don't improve their operations, all the millions which you are putting in this marketing will come to naught. The breathtaking scenery in both countries are huge tourist attractions, creating lucrative employment opportunities. And it's hoped the numbers of tourists to South Africa and Lesotho continue to grow. Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maseru Lesotho.